about time that we talk about Zach for a minute here, okay? ZZZ333. Three, three, three. Three, three. And Zach is somebody who... Okay, you want to know what Zach's really about? Take a look at... Take a look at this video here. what Zach is all about okay and you and you might sit there and you might say well so what man that doesn't do shit man that doesn't have anything to do with nothing blah 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 but you know what Zach is <laughs> Zach is like Zach is nothing new to people in the know okay there's being a far left lib intellectual like Buddha jam like brain police like Bella the happy loser and then there's Zach okay Zach, let me tell you my history with Zach, okay? One Zach was there and he made a video which could get him into legal trouble, okay? And here's the video here that Zach made that could get him into some legal trouble. So I tried to warn him, maybe he should better take the video down. Here's the video. You judge for yourself. The concept behind this video is I have no concept and I have to go somewhere, so I'm going to do it on the way. And it's far away, so I'm going to drive, even though that contributes to global warming. And that <laughs> is how I'm a slave. Because it is in my self-interest to drive. If I don't drive... I might think I'm what I mean. So, anyways, I tell Zach, I, I, I write in the comments, like, I was like, man, you better take that video down because somebody's going to report you to your state police and you're going to get made an example out of, etc., etc. Remember, he put out this video when YouTube was starting to get big and when, when you know, things were happening, right? So, so he makes that video and I, I just went and sent him a note. I said, man, you better, you should take that video down. He left a comment. I was like, you should take, you should take that video down because some, you know, the cops will make an example out of you. Somebody will report you, et cetera, et cetera. And no, you know what he did? Instead of doing that, he went and he removed my comment. He censored me. He censored my speech. And here I was trying to act in his best interest. So. This is what Zach's about. Okay, look, you guys, the kids out there have to understand, okay? How do you say this? I don't know how to say this, okay? God, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know how to really say this, you know what I mean? But it's through experience that I could say this, you know what I mean? There's having a few drinks after work. There's having whiskey on the weekends, etc., etc., but then there's having a drugged out mindset and a drugged out lifestyle, okay? Where it clouds up your mind and makes you retarded, okay? That's, that's what Zach is all about. Zach is, he's, he's, his mind is half hung over in the clouds, okay? That's where his mind is right now because that's the jaded lifestyle that he lives, okay? Here's the thing, when you're born, okay, when you're born, your genetics will determine a lot about your brain and your brain has a lot of chemicals in it and it has a lot of hormones and it has a lot of reactive different things in it. Now, some people, like a lot of musicians, like, okay, the guy from Green Day, like the guy, all these people smoke pot and they do drugs. But the reason why is because they're so mentally gifted, they're so... They're so quick, they're so mentally gifted that their mind moves too fast. So what they do is they slow it down through using drugs. What that does is though, unfortunately, is that Zach is a really smart, bright, intellectual guy. You know what I mean? 
normal people do drugs and they just sit there and they're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm just so high. Oh shit. You know what I mean? You know what? Why don't you look at the feature video? If you go to my channel page, you can see a feature video. People, few people know how it's like to be really, really high. Okay. And if you watch the girl in my feature video there on my page, you'll see her. She's sitting there and she's like, if you watch it, she'll be like, <sighs> she can't even breathe. Okay. And you don't want to cross over to that next side where you have a panic attack because you can't even breathe. Your mind can't tell your lungs how to breathe in and out. Okay. Like that's how bad you can get. Have I been there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did I think I was going to die? Yeah. Okay. So it's not a fun place to be, but these little pussies like Zach, you know, will sit there and he'll smoke his weed and stuff like that. And he'll come up with these intellectual idealisms. Now, I don't know for all the kids out there who have done drugs. Okay. I don't know about those people, but when you come off an acid trip, when you've taken ecstasy and smoked weed and done pills, you know what I mean? There's a certain, you know, there's a certain, there's nothing, let's put it this way. Okay. And only a couple of people are going to know what I'm talking about. There's a certain entertainment. Okay. There's nothing, there's almost nothing in the world more entertaining than sitting with somebody and they don't even have to be like-minded like you doing E and smoking weed and drinking alcohol and just getting fucked. Okay. There's, and what happens is, is that your main, your mind becomes like, you'll start on Friday and then Sunday will come. Okay. And you won't even know, you won't have a solid sleep. You won't know where the time went by. You'll stay inside the whole day like a rat. You won't know what you will, you'll lose track of time. Okay. And when you do that, you know, what you'll do is you'll have these short, like one or two hour naps in between. Only very few people know what I'm talking about. And you'll do the whole weekend like that. And then you won't know what went on. And all of a sudden the sun rises and you hear on the TV, it's like Monday morning and you don't know what happened. You know, now there is, <laughs> there's nothing more entertaining than that. Nothing. There is nothing that's more entertaining and fun than coming off an acid trip and having somebody else there while you guys talk about life and consciousness and the world and the trees and the plants and you know oh my god when i was younger okay this is like when i was young i think i was like how old i don't know how old i was like 16 years old or something 17 years old we did a couple hits of acid and uh this guy's, uh, I started, you know, I was on this, my ex-girlfriend, I was on this balcony, you know, we had these apartments that were split up into two and, you know, it was like a house, but it was like the top floor was an apartment. The bottom floor was, uh, also an apartment. So we're sitting on the balcony on the top floor and I'm just sitting there, you know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm looking at, and I wore glasses, you know what I mean? Well, I still do need glasses, but I take them off for the video. And, um, so I wear glasses and there was, we had this bicycle tire because I had, you know, back then mountain bikes and Trek mountain bikes and stuff like that. Right. So we have the, we have like the, the tire there and I'd look at it and the tire would start to go oval like that right before my eyes. I'll never forget. And I spent hours. There was this tree. Okay. <laughs> there was this tree outside the balcony and I would look at it and the leaves, okay, there'd be branches and stuff like that, right? And it was a sunny, gorgeous morning. I'll never forget it. It was just blue skies and sun, early June sort of thing. And I, the sun came up and the birds were chirping. And when the birds were chirp, it sounded like they were kind of coming from behind you and stuff. And you felt at one with nature. And I looked at the leaves on the trees and the leaves on the trees. And I'd look at them and I could start to see the stems of the trees basically... Like I, you could start to see the, the stems, you know, like the branches, then you could, like, it was like sharp, like ding, you could start to see the, like what the tree was about. 